Good morning, guys. Uh, it's Sunday. Uh, it's morning uh, at my place in Poland right now. And I just wanted to visit you shortly with my first impressions of Merida's Cultura Endurance uh, Riding. This is not a paid um, review or test. Uh, I just made friends with um, guys from Merida from Stuttgart, Germany, and they are still sending me some bikes. I can ride on them. I can train on them. And some of those bikes uh, have a lot of miles uh, down on them. But Merida Scultura Endurance, I just want to tell you a couple of things about endurance bikes, this direction uh, and why I like it. Uh, I will tell you also about the internal cable routing, what I think about it and some main points about uh, this bike. Uh, <laughs> some of you know I crashed uh, over a week ago during preparation for the Polish Cup XCO cross country, so I had seven days off um, and last Friday, that's two days ago, I made first ride on the turbo trainer on this bike, which was okay, but yesterday I did four hours of riding on such roads as well. So this is why I'm actually shooting this little video on, on such a road. This is not even a gravel, it's like a sand with some clay underneath. And I must tell you that if you need to ride sometimes through such roads some fire roads oh when when he hears i'm recording something he'll always come so hi guys this is kitek <laughs> uh, then this bike will be very good for that so versatility is something i love and i know mm, you will you will be asking me questions so denny endurance bike or gravel bike since they are so close i'm gonna answer that question uh, at the end first off we have the 32 c tires uh, with the room for more which is great great compliant bike uh, i was actually taking over some cars yesterday on, on such roads uh, <laughs> which was fun uh, so yes I don't feel uh, be, I'm being slower on the road with uh, with these tires. Uh, I'm gonna be doing lots of endurance miles on this bike during the winter. So Maxis deton detonator detonator uh, are great for this. Uh, I feel also lots of grip on the tarmac. So that's number one. Number two, compliance of the frame. Of course, this is the carbon frame set, which is made for more compliance. We've got some. Uh, damping especially here on the rear triangle it's not something you will feel uh, jumping from the alloy bike to the carbon bike it, the system is there but the most important thing for me is the seat post which is not 30.9 millimeters not 31.6 this is 27.2 which I've been always loving on the Cannondale road bikes. Now they even have 25.4 because this really flexes, you know. When when you sit on the saddle and go through the rough terrain, this will flex to the back. This part of the frame will flex to the front and you really feel much more comfort. Then we have the head tube, which is uh, higher. And remember, it, it doesn't mean less aero, it means more aero because you'll be riding on the drops on the handlebars more often being more aero. Uh, when you have really short, racy head tube, you're not using this part of the handlebars. Not if the, even the pro riders uh, hesitate to use it because it's painful for the back. So this is cool, this works. Then we have uh, really versatile uh, disc brakes with some additional coolers that Merida has invented which are which are great. Uh, bad weather when you ride on such a road sometimes uh, you're not gonna be damaging your uh, rims so it's much better than the rim brake. Yes, I do co confirm that. Then we have the drivetrain. A compact uh, crankset means 34 teeth on the smaller and 50 teeth on the uh, bigger chainring. And then at the rear we have 1134, which is a lot. This is also versatility. Uh, sometimes, especially on some maybe more rough roads, uh, I do, I've, I've did try to go through the forest uh, you're gonna need more more uh, gears and it's 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 cool I really don't feel like I'm lacking gears um, during some fast riding on the tarmac and I can go for the some some real mountains great stiff frame uh, looking cool really like 
buffy uh, and big uh, and then the internal cables so let's see some features uh, up close oh i also like the the hanger so if you remember my review of the merida scultura the alloy one i was telling you this is not merida because merida say more bike and that bike didn't give me anything more this bike does i can ride fast i can have grip on different uh, um, grounds uh, that's really cool internal cable routing guys if you've seen me because i stripped this bike f uh, of all the components and i build it once again that means i had to cut these uh, housings and route everything through the frame this is this is really painful and time consuming it is uh, i think that the 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 guys who are servicing the bikes for Merida McLaren uh, team, they they are now now be, being paid more because of these features. Uh, to be honest, you don't really change your uh, calipers. You don't really change even uh, the housings, not even the cables very often, because uh, this is the closed system from the beginning to the end. If you know my Nini, my Merida 96, which is now three years old, I guess, I am still riding the same, not even housing, but the cables. So I haven't changed anything. But this is the new system. On the older system, the cables would go here to the frame, to the entry on the frame, and then inside the frame. This is different because this entry actually turns as you turn the handlebars, which means you are not bending the housings, the, the cables, uh, and it's really crisp for shifting. It's, it, it is really good for shifting. Hello, little. <laughs> he loves being around when I'm, when I'm filming. Uh, so I do like it. Let me show you how it works. So this is the entry for the cables and now see, when I'm turning the handlebars, it turns with them, with the cables. And that's really something that works. So for maintaining, for building the bike, it is, it is difficult because you need to route all these four cables, uh, keeping the fork at the same time in your hands, difficult to do. Uh, but it works. On the uh, Aero version, uh, the Reacto, these cables will be even hidden here under the, uh, the stem. Uh, it's not important for me. I still prefer the uh, external cable routing. I just want to tell you that as for uh, the, the practicality, I mean how it works, this is great design. Because these cables go down here and then to the down tube so they can actually spin around here we are not bending them here inside so you have nailed it uh, you have made me use some bad words when <laughs> when uh, uh, assembling uh, all this but this is good so guys uh, versatility yes uh, ability to ride on such a road yes uh, gravel or endurance bike this is actually for me it's quite easy those two types of bikes uh, got really close to each other and I would say if you ride more on the tarmac uh, and sometimes you need to go through some maybe rough tarmac or such a road than endurance bike if you mostly ride on the gravel some even trails like trails than the gravel bike this bike also has some uh, screws here and some adapters which you can remove even from the frame for uh, some uh, mud guards uh, so maybe especially uh, countries like UK will appreciate that uh, these uh, tires are Maxxis Detonator 32 and see how much more room we have both front and rear so you can even get uh, more <clears throat> more than 30 C, 32C but for me that's just enough and that's pretty much it guys and i also switched from the road uh, pedals to the crank bros candies with additional platform and after four uh, four uh, hours of riding i feel better on these 
and my my uh, feet really feel better because I have those um, naked titanium uh, egg beaters on my uh, XC racing bike. So 27.2 seat post is great. Uh, you also have now on the Merida bikes the additional multi-tool underneath the saddle, which is integrated. That's cool. The problem is that uh, if the saddle doesn't fit really to your butt, uh, you're not going to be able to t uh, take this uh, system and, and move it over to another saddle. Uh, but if it fits, it, it's not uncomfortable. But I usually uh, use uh, saddles with a cutout. This one doesn't have it. Then uh, you say but bye bye multi tool. Otherwise, really good bikes. Just maybe the cooler at the end. So this is the cooler on the front wheel. This is the cooler on the new wheel. Uh, on the on the rear wheel. It's a new design of the cooler. I do like it. In order to remove the front wheel, you simply remove this lever, which is uh, at the same time a hex key, and remove the front wheel. It works, I like it, and that's it for this episode. I like Merida Scultura Endurance, and this was the 6000 model. See you guys, and thank you for watching.